Hey YouTube, my name's Tim and Matt's behind the camera. Welcome to the shop at Matt Harris Knives. Um, we're doing a heat treat as part of a collaboration uh, for what's in your toolbox um, put on by Keith Finner. Um, this was organized by Brad Basement Shop Guy. Um, so what I have here is the box that Adam just sent me this week of the um, Machinist Vice, which you've seen his videos. Uh, Matt and I are going to heat treat this and uh, send it on to Stan, who's going to be doing the grinding. Uh, so we'll be back to you in a minute. So when you're in a knife shop, there's always a knife handy. So let's see what Adam sent. Ooh, got some uh, A-Bomb 79 swag, stickers, and a very cool pen. Adam, thank you very much. Very cool. And I'll bring you back when we get into the box. So all nice and wrapped up. Got the nice machinist spice, and that's what we're going to be heat treating. Um, we'll be back. Also do. Um, Machining for knives that kind of look like that with scales. Um, this is the size of stuff that we typically heat treat, so the machinist vise is a little bit bigger and we'll have to uh, change our processes a little bit. We'll be back when we get over to the oven. So we're over at the oven. Um, we brought the part over. Um, I got the heat treat specifications from Stan. If you guys remember, Adam sent a small block to Stan to see if it could be hardened. Um, so Stan suggested the critical temperature of 1,500 degrees. Um, we're going to soak the part at for an hour and a half, and then we'll come back and do tempers. Um, Matt's programming the oven right now. Um, because it is such a large part, we're going to um, bring it up to 1,000 degrees and let it soak um, for 45 minutes, and then bring it up to the critical temperature. So as you can see, the part is heating up. Um, the oven's at 609 right now. I thought I'd take a little bit of time and kind of explain the heat treat process. Um, so what happens is with heat treat, you um, heat the metal up to a critical temperature and that changes the grain structure of the steel. And then you quench it. Um, depending on the steel, um, the critical temperature varies. Um, you also have um, different soak times, um, and different methods of quenching. Uh, we'll show you, um, this is going to be oil quenched, but Matt does a lot of um, steel that is just uh, air quenched, so he's got some thick aluminum plates to draw the heat out. Um, so after quenching, or after heat treat, the material is, um, as I said, changed the grain structure, but it's also quite brittle um, after it's quenched. So what you want to do is temper the material to set the hardness um, and again that depends on the hardness you desire um, the harder you want the lower temperature the softer you want it to be the higher the temperature you would temper um, so we'll actually temper this part for um, probably two or three hours and that will uh, we'll do two cycles of that um, so matt what other kind of steels have you um, heat treated uh, I use a lot of D2 uh, for tool steel, uh, S7, A2, uh, 1095 for high carbon, and then for stainless, I do uh, CPM 154. So the part's been in the oven for about an hour now at um, roughly 1,000 degrees, and then in just a minute it will ramp up to 1500 degrees uh, where it will stay there for two hours. As you can see now the temperature is starting to ramp up. Um, we'll bring it back when it gets to 1500. So the two hours are up at 1500 degrees so we're now going to quench the um, machinist vise.
So the quench is done in three gallons of automatic transmission fluid. So we're just now um, letting it sit in the automatic transmission fluid to um, get rid of the heat. And then we'll um, let it cool down, um, get the oil, wipe it down. And after s probably three or four emails with Stan, um, we're actually going to go through the heat treat process once again. So we'll bring it back up to um, the temperatures and the hold times and uh, do this again. So we'll be back. So we're over in the grinding area of the shop. Um, for those that may remember, Stan did an early video where he actually built a knife grinder for a guy. Um, this is a KMG, looks very similar. Um, as you can see, knife grinding is a messy business. So we're back after another heat treat cycle. Um, it's kind of late in the evening. Matt's been out working on um, she's for knives to go out tomorrow and here comes the quenching Pretty similar to last time, the oil takes all the heat out and uh, we'll get this cooled off and cleaned up and uh, ready for uh, temper. So we got a box from Brad yesterday afternoon and it's Saturday morning so we're going to start heat treating. Um, so this is the part. Nice and machined, it'll look like this when it's done. So we've got the nice part in the oven, just started the heat treat cycle. So it's early Sunday morning, the sun's not even up yet. Um, Matt was nice enough to program the oven before he left. So, time to get the parts in for a long temper. So the parts are out of the oven. This is uh, how they're looking now after temper at 400 degrees for about four hours. Um, it'll be very interesting to see uh, how shiny Stan gets these. So we're in the milling area of the shop and as you can see, yes bro, we do indicate with the Noga holder. So we've got everything all boxed up. We'll send it out to Stan and Tom out in California for them to finish grinding. And uh, thanks for watching.